now your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, we got one more day of this high heat, high humidity, and then uh, we're going to start to cool things down. So uh, today, temperatures mid to upper 90s, feeling like 107. And then tomorrow, you know, 89 degrees, feeling like 96. Hey, this is going to be where you can get outside in terms of temperatures anyway, and just be able to do things that you need to do. You know, lately, you just kind of had to make a little bit of a plan, right? Because you get out there in the afternoon, you got to stay hydrated, take breaks. Well, you might not have to do that so much over the next couple of days. But I mean, it, even though it's going to cool down, it's still going to be humid. So there is still a heat index up above 90 for many of those days. It's just a lot better than what we've had. The trade up is that we're going to have a lot of rain today. There might be a few scattered shower storms ahead of any cool front. The front comes in tomorrow, eh, maybe a few showers in the morning, but it's going to create a lot of rain in the afternoon, maybe some heavy downpours tomorrow afternoon. And then Friday, uh, a little lower chance. I think we'll have just a few scattered showers and storms as the front sinks south, but then it moves back north on Saturday, giving us a 60% chance of rain. Now, at the moment, that front that I just talked about, it's up there in the Midwest in the Ohio River Valley. It did cause some pretty bad storms up there across parts of the Midwest yesterday and the day before. Now, we're ahead of it. We're going to be hot and humid, but that might create a few scattered storms later this afternoon. At the moment, there's nothing out there. We're going to stay uh, pretty quiet for the first half of the day. Partly cloudy skies. Now we get into the afternoon and we'll pop up a few showers and storms between about two and three o'clock in the afternoon. That it's just a few at first, but then between three and five o'clock, we get some scattered storms and a couple of those could be on the strong side because you got so much heat and humidity out there. Plus the winds are out of the southwest already at about 10 to 15 miles an hour, some gusts to 20. So that's outside of any thunderstorms. So you get a thunderstorm, you know, you might have a little stronger wind. That's up until about six, seven, eight o'clock. And then overnight, some isolated shower storms are still possible. Now tomorrow morning, isolated showers, just a few at first. Here's midday. It's starting to perk up quite a bit. We get some heavy rain and a big cluster, and then we get several clusters of showers, thunderstorms, heavy downpours. This is Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, and there could be, really be some heavy rain out of this for a time, at least in some areas. We don't really need that heavy rain right now. Now later today, there's also possibility of some strong storms, maybe severe. You got a marginal risk for the south side near the state line, a slight risk from the peninsula north. Strong gusty winds will be the main threat. Heavy rain possible, isolated hail. Now those rain totals, they're going to vary next 48 hours quite a bit. Some of you maybe a quarter to half an inch. Some places maybe one, two inches of rain. So we'll have updates on this. We'll be updating throughout the day today and throughout the day tomorrow. Stay tuned for those updates. Uh, 95 today, Virginia Beach, 96 Norfolk and Portsmouth, 92 Kilo Hills, 96 Elizabeth City. Heat index though, 105 to 109. We'll get some scattered storms this afternoon that might cool down some areas. 92 in Melfa, 95 Hampton, 93 Gloucester, 96 Newport News, heat index over 105. There is a low threat for rip currents in Virginia Beach. There is a moderate threat down along the Outer Banks today. There will be some beach time, keep that in mind. And maybe a few storms down there later today. Seas 3 to 4 feet on the water, the bays 2 to 3 feet, bay temperature 82, and there's nothing out there in the tropics so far. So we got some uh, quiet conditions. Seven day forecast 89 tomorrow, 86 Friday. Uh, Friday might be a decent day. There might just be a handful of showers and storms if that front sinks south 86 and maybe just a tad less humidity. So that might be the day to get out. Saturday and Sunday are not a washout. We'll have some scattered storms, but there'll be some time to get out there. We'll pinpoint as we get closer.